from just 19 pounds on sale now at Ticketmaster. Smolkova take on Megan Morris. There we go, Smolkova in the red corner, black kit. Megan Morris, white kit, black, uh, blue corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. And off we go now for Megan Morris. It's gonna be, she's got exquisite boxing, but can she close the distance? Maybe get a hold of uh, Smolkova, but look at the kicking game of Smolkova early on there, Luke. Yeah, that's, that's the range, you know, that's what we want Megan to come forward and getting stuck in that boxing range. Changes levels fantastically. Great split of the legs there, though, from Smolkova. And just to get the hands together, does Mega Morris, this is going to be a converted takedown if she can get the lift. I call the fight. Great hip action, sorry, there from Smolkova to defend this takedown. This is hardly fought, and she survives it. She is so good at this. I saw her compete against Kylie Yontif, and that was over in America. Yontif out of Jackson Winks gym. The neck. Oh, the neck's in trouble now for uh, Mega Morris. But Smolkova was able to stuff that. Oh, big shots. Heavy left hands coming in as well. And this is what I was saying about the evolution of the sport. You can see these two girls, all the skill sets, everything there. Good takedown defense, straight away on the way up, throwing big shots oh. to the head, landing heavy. Left hook lands. Smolkova now putting that pressure on Megan. Nice right hand lands straight there as well. Yeah, Smolkova, that storied history and striking as well. But Morris in on the single leg again. This is the game. She needs to try and execute this takedown. But that was excellent defense from Smolkova, even the frames to allow for the strikes. Does well here, Megan, to work up to the body, rather than going for the legs and, and attacking those hips, fighting those hips. Great de defense from Smolkova, now she's attacking the upper body. This is intelligent from her early on. Rather than wasting her time on more double legs, more single legs, she's realized how good she is at defending those, and instantly she's switched up to the body now. Yeah. Now we can see tosses, we can see trips, we can see some more advanced takedowns off the fence. She go leg reap, she can go for hip tosses. Interesting to see what they get. She wraps up the leg and she oh, goes for it. That. That's beautiful, beautiful work from Megan Morris. She might take the back as well if she can pop out. Oh, look at that good get up from uh, Smolkova. Again, Smolkova working back, knew she was in danger, worked herself straight back to the fence again. Very intelligent and again shows the evolution of these two girls. Are beautiful stuff. Yeah, Megan Morris coming from that Northwest Fight Academy, that a, a gym full of absolute monster grapplers. But that was such a technical takedown, turning the corner and setting up the trip there, Luke. Yeah, that's the other takedowns I think she's going to have more success with. Even though she didn't convert that one, Smolkova managed to get back up to the feet. I think as the fight continues, that's what she's going to have more uh, more success with. And it doesn't take as much energy to do that. Now she's been outpowered a little bit. Good head position here up against the fence. Be interesting to see now if Smolkova wanted to go for her own takedown or if she just wants to stand on the feet. Oh, she'll stay in this spot. She And also, she's deceptively strong. Before getting into martial arts, she was into bodybuilding, Luke. So this is a young lady who's always been pushing her body to be as strong as it can be. And every opponent that I've spoken to who has fought her has said they are so surprised at just how strong, and not just how strong she is, but for how long that strength maintains throughout a five minute, uh, three five-minute rounds. Well, you can see this now with Megan trying to shuck out. Does very well there with that left underhook. Wood needs to watch out on the neck. She's managed to shuck in that arm as well. Oh, She's going to try and bully her down, but gets taken down with the high crotch. Great work from Megan. Good defense again. The hips were great, right? Look, just flipped them out a little bit to give her some sort of Goes base. for this leg reap, goes, changes angles. But the base and the strength from Smolkova, something to behold at the moment. Very, very difficult to get to this map. Megan needs to keep up the tenacity, keeps to keep up the pace, keep yep. up these takedowns because that's what happens when you fail once, fail twice, fail three times. Maybe you start to give up oh. and those big knees to the head. Worked out to the midsection, done the head before, but again, small covert. Very good in the clinch. That nice. head position just burying it deep under the chin there. Nice battle over the wrist control here, back and forth. Here we go, switching sides here. This is going to be a battle of attrition as well, managing those nerves, that adrenaline dump. But, you know, this is going to be 100% potentially for the full three rounds, should it go that distance. Beautiful work from Smolkova. You see how she's got that left arm wrapped all the way around the body of Megan, holding on to that hip. Now Megan switches it up, and as she does that, Smolkova puts the other arm in, right hand now on the right hip as well. Absolutely top class really out here at the moment so far every step of the way she's making little adjustments that are keeping her ahead of the game 
Megan going for those trips. She's trying so many different things, but it's very difficult to deal with the pressure, the head control, yeah. that forward motion, everything from Smolkova is spot on. Clock ticking down now, 15 seconds left to round number one. Morris trying to work her way round the back. Or well, she might give up her back here as well, but look, again. Oh, oh, big 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 shots. Huge shots, here comes a flurry from Smolkova to finish. Round number one, final seconds coming in. Oh, another big right hand and from Jester. Oh my goodness, wow. Saved by the bell. It's away, they've done great work there, Steve and Chris. Now, what does she need to do? What is the, what is the change in the game plan, or is it stick to it and just be more defensively aware of some of those shots that are coming in? Well, you need to come out and you need to, you need to earn the respect right now of Smolkova because she's going to be on a high. She's going to be feeling fantastic. She's going to feel like she's got this fight in the bag. You need to go out there and you need to land something on her that makes her realize this is not going to be that easy. Coming out, looking good at the moment, Megan. Needs to be careful of those thunderous shots, though. Yeah. Switches up to get the takedown, and that's what you need to do. Try and get the takedown in the middle of the cage. Oh, the nice and trip. She does. Nice trip there. Worked it together, chained it. And needs, now needs to not allow Small Cobra to work to that fence because she's very clever there. Gets that wrist wrap. Very, very good work oh, here from Mega Morris. Goodness. And changing the dynamic of this fight early was exactly what she needed to do. Came out, got it to the mat. Beautiful work from Small Cobra there to work herself back to the fence. She's going to have good takedown. Um, with good steps, get ups from the bottom using the fence. She's already trying to get back to the fence. Yeah. Morris going to try and get to the back, and we're beautiful work from Smolkova. Intelligent, understanding where she is in the cage, finds the cage wall and work, walks back up, up up the cage beautifully there. But that is the start Megan Morris needed, right? Just something to wipe that last five, ten seconds away of that first round, get some success, and, and believe in herself again. Exactly, and that belief is there, but this is the positions that she's struggling in. So she needs to even almost abandon this now, come out and fight the fire in the middle of the octagon. You don't want to be here because she's so good yeah. at defending these attack attempts. And we know that from the first round. And the cage is helping, right? The cage is helping Smolkova stay on her feet. And once Smolkova manages to turn this around and get her position, so she's the offensive one on the cage, that's where she did all the damage in the first round. She's very confident here, going for 100%. Could see her, oh, she goes for it. She went for the right reversal. She went for the, uh, the fireman's carry. Didn't quite work out. Gets her hips back up, but this is what I'm saying. Now Smokova is going to be in control. She's going to land big shots. She's going to look for these guillotines. She needs to push this head down in this position. Great work. Now big knees are going to come up from Smokova, as we saw in the first. Looking for this standing guillotine. Oh, yeah, she's got a bite on that. She's raising the net. Look, she's got Megan off her feet. And then she shucks her down. Beautiful work. Can go to the back here as well. And does. Oh. Needs to separate Megan from the fence. She gets such power, such torque on those Beautiful shots. work oh, there from Megan. Megan Morris trying to sneak into the back. This is great work from Morris. Might end up pulling guard, though. Does. But, listen, she's got a great guard. We've seen it before in some of her other fights. And at least she's not taking those big shots as it stands, Luke. And she's in open water. This is much better for her. We know she can't win the battle against the fence. She's been losing it since the beginning of the fight. So changes the dynamic a little bit. Still on the bottom, still in a lot of trouble, especially if Smokova gets going. But Megan now can maybe look to utilize the guard, get her foot on the hip, try and change angles. Deep breaths on the bottom from her, though, and blood is pouring from the nose. Being brutalized so far. And that's almost three minutes of round number two in the books smoke over in this top position listen to the crowd and again she said this is my dream this is it coming true well, well mega morris had a lot of success early in the first round yeah and it only got worse and worse for her as the fight went on and it seems similar in this second oh she's switching for the leg nice she's going for a leg like this is great work from morris look at this crafty stuff yet again from the uk and switching, fighter. It switching it around as well Oh, she's going to come out the back Now on she comes top. on top. Beautiful. Utilize that leg lock attempt to go to the sweep. Gets on top, and she's in a full crucifix Listen, position here. You, you crucifix. This is a beat dance, but you talked about the evolution of, uh, of mixed martial arts. We see it every single time. We see any martial artist step in the cage. But that was a beautiful transition and taking this top position. What, what a sequence that was. You know me, Brian. I'm a straight talker, straight shooter. I have never really been a big fan of female MMA. But seeing the evolution of these women and how they're progressing, it just gets better and better. And this is fighting. This is not nothing else. This is fighting from both these girls. They're giving it everything. They are digging deep, and I, and I, I love to see that. I love to see athletes get pushed to the limit and then come back. But also let their skills rise to the top in those limits, right? They're in the fight. They're still being technical. They've got some amazing positional stuff. Mount. Look at that. 
Oh, Megan Morris on top now, 45 seconds here. Three-quarter mount goes to, to full mount, goes to the back. Look how she sets her hook. She is so aware of the, the moves that Smolkova is wanting Beautiful to make. Beautiful work, flattens her out, oh. looks for the neck, doesn't quite get it, turns over, gives up the mount position. 30 seconds left, still time for her to work. And definitely winning this round now wow, is what, Megan Morris. What an end to round number one we had from Smolkova. Flip that coin. Now Megan Morris taking that top position, making ne it mount, and now making it count. Needs to try and get some posture, needs to try and break this, this, this control of the head, and needs to be careful. Schmolkova doesn't use that fence to hip off and maybe get on top. 10 seconds to go. Maybe gonna get an explosion from Schmolkova on the bottom, but Megan Morris. But what a way to finish the round, Luke, right? Yeah, Megan Morris being smart, staying low, not getting overzealous in the position, and, and taking that round in one. Yeah, Smoke over deep breaths, but in response. This is the biggest five minutes of both of these young ladies' lives, and look at them now, wanting to make it there. Nice stiff jab from Megan as well, coming out with a strike in round three. And again it lands. I tell you what, when I called the fights in the IMAP, it was some of her boxing that really impressed me. Slips the head nicely as well, Luke. Let's see if she looks for that takedown. Smoke she can't over. be desperate for the takedown. She needs to set that with hands, which is what she's doing again. Great intelligence, not just coming out here, looking for that takedown. Smolkova knows it's coming. She's trying to set it up and she's trying to land some good shots. And she's landed two or three very, very flush jabs, not being hit like she was in the first and second round. It's almost like Smolkova now is questioning herself, doesn't want to get taken down, is worried about it. She's, she's made her think. She's earned that respect, like I was saying in the second round. This has been a real, real tail, this fight. Yes, yeah, certainly a technical tail of two halves. First round, you'd have to give to Smolkova. Second with that finish to Morris, and she's looking to get it to the mat again. Look at this. And again, the intelligence there, going low with the ankle pick, coming high afterwards. Going down, I mean, Smolkova defended so well and manages to stay on her feet, but the attempt, the ideas coming out of the corner of Mega Morris are so, so clever. But and again, the, here the going techniques, high. right? She's executing a number of different techniques. She's not Single the to same. double. Yeah, exactly. Now going to come up. Pull these legs out, but I just think Smolkova is so strong and powerful with this balance up against the fence. So difficult for her. Be careful of these knees now. One and a half minutes gone, three and a half minutes left of this third and final round here. Octagon 47 in the Tipos Arena here in Bratislava. I don't know what it is. I, I, sometimes I just like to root for the underdog. Neither girl's the underdog, but then when I saw what happened to Megan Morris in the first round, and now she's making a comeback, <laughs> you're, it's like within me, as, as I just want, want to see the, the guy come back or the girl come back and get the victory. So I'm not cheering for anyone, but you know, it, it was good to see. Well, it's evened up, and like I said, these, these now three minutes left. Ooh, big oh, right we could decide it, and those are big shots coming in from Smolkova. Oh, a nice jab, though. Oh, there's so much pop on the shots of Smolkova. Look at the power she holds in the fight, in the, in the power shots. Yeah there's, de yeah, there's definitely a bit more power in those shots. You can see and that's the difference. Also, I feel like Megan now showing a little bit of tire, and she's tiring quite a bit from all the damage that she's taken. Nice little switch up there to get the takedown, though. And halfway through the round, exactly, look, two minutes, 30 seconds. And you almost see Smolkova a bit annoyed. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's relentless, it won't stop, gets the hook there. Look at that hook, that, she's done that multiple times and it's done her so good. That hook is what stopped her from getting reversed there, trying to get the other leg in, beautiful. Great hips as well, though, from Smolkova on the bottom. But, but she's gonna this. give up the mount. Yeah, she's giving Great up the mount. work from Mega Morris. There we go, two minutes, five seconds left. They're not far from us in, in the cage. We can see this, the top pressure. Now the urgency needs to come from Smolkova, right? That tiny detail of that hook going in stopped that reversal. That reversal would have been a full reversal for Smolkova. She would have been on top. That little tiny hook that popped in, then she got the second hook in, then she worked her way around. But it was that moment where she stuck that foot in that might have won of this fight, or might have won of this round at least. And she's now on top in the mount with a minute and a half remaining. What a fight. What a fight indeed, and I am sure the whole of Preston and the UK are on their feet as this final seconds tick down. Smolkova, though, has got this arena with bated breath, hoping, willing that she can find a way out of this mount. Needs to be careful here, does Mega Morris. She seems to be over a little bit high with her hips. And Balance that, needs to be a little, needs a little bit off. She's using her head now. And she's shifting her away from the cage, which is what she needs to do, right? Yeah, needs to keep those feet off the fence so she can't, she can't buck up. She's going for it here, oh. Smolkova. She's really aggressively she's attacking. She's rolling around. Oh, she's going for the scaffold. She gets it. 
she's got, she's, still, uh, she's still got the hooks. Yeah, she's still the flexibility <laughs> of these women. That's the problem. Unbelievable yeah. stuff. You don't see this in, in men's mixed martial arts. These positions differ, but she might be able to stay on top. And she has. She's worked her way out and round. Beautiful 45 work. seconds. Needs to be left. careful with this armbar attempt. Oh, my goodness. From Mega Morris. Mega Morris threatening from bottom. 40 seconds remain. Her first Gets the elbow out, though. Can, oh, Smolko is still inside. Smolkova shucked the elbow. Her first pro fight was an armbar victory in the first round for Mega Morris. Can she get it in the third here in her debut for Octagon? Well, some great defense at the moment from Smolkova. She shucked that elbow out twice, but it's deep inside again now, so she does need to be careful. Morris is trying to roll up. She she's she's trying to roll, roll up. up. She's going to roll up. If she manages to roll up at the same time, she can snatch the arm. Oh, it's got the arm. She's got the 15 arm. 15 seconds. She tapped. That's it. Oh, my goodness. 13 seconds left on the clock. The winner after four minutes and 47 seconds in the third round by Arbar coming from the blue corner, Megan Morris. After breaking attendance records across Europe, Octagon MMA is now set for their first event on British soil, where UK fans will finally get to experience the breathtaking live spectacle that Octagon is renowned for in Europe and beyond. On this night, two champions will be crowned. In the main event, we will see the UK's Aaron Aby, a man who has been fighting since his first breath, take on his toughest test to date. American and UFC veteran Elias Garcia in a fight for flyweight gold. Plus the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After 10 months of training, a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head to head. Ladies and gentlemen, Prague, one more time. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. You used to watch stuff with me, he's fucking funny. <laughs> now I've got a punch him. Two of Europe's most decorated bantamweights will battle it out for the number one contender spot as England's Jack Cartwright takes on Croatian killer Anton Ratchic. After months of trash talk, the grudge will finally be settled as Liverpool's rising star, Shemrock. Listen! There's a certain police officer out there who won't keep my name out of his mouth. Pukoni, sign the contract or shut the fuck up. We'll get his wish and we'll face off against the Czech warrior, Yaroslav Pukoni. Huge punishment for Pukoni. The British slayer, Yaku Banik, will come up against the Force when he faces Jedi, Akon Wanless. I know you guys might hate me, but one by one, and one day, I will be champion. Octagon 48 goes down November 4th at the historic AO Arena in Manchester. Great Britain, Octagon is coming. Tickets from just £19 on sale now at Ticketmaster.